Hello and welcome to the April 2020 real estate market update for the Central Okanagan. My name is Brendan Stoneman with Remax Kelowna. In this video, we're going to talk about the March 2020 real estate numbers for the Kelowna and surrounding area. But more importantly, we're going to spend a bit of time actually talking about the first couple weeks of April because I think that's going to tell more of an accurate picture of what we're really dealing with uh, in today's real estate market. And then I've got my thoughts on you know, how I see the rest of the year playing out and a couple of factors that could really determine how all of that goes. So let's talk about March 1st. So uh, obviously we're all staying home right now. I'm shooting this from my home office. Uh, I've got three kids under eight that are homeschooling in the next room. So apologize in advance for any background noise. We're all doing our part here. Uh, but then actually the March numbers were uh, fairly strong, all things considered. We had 383 residential sales. That's actually an increase uh, of 11 and percent. Listing inventory was down about 8%. There were 2,136 active listings on the market. So our supply and demand number was sitting at uh, 5.6 months of inventory in a balanced market, which was down from a slight buyer's market we had in March 2019. So the average sale price for all residential properties last month was $580,000. That is a 7.5% uh, increase over last year. So keep in mind though, the government measures that were introduced with the social distancing, the self-isolation, non-essential businesses being clo uh, closing up, a lot of people being laid off, really came into effect the, the middle of March. A lot of these deals were written before that happened. They may have firmed up and gone through uh, you know, later in March, but they were initiated prior to. So these numbers, in my opinion, are a little bit skewed. And as a result, you know, normally we do a single family home update, a condo update, and a townhome uh, update down below. We're gonna hold off on that because these numbers, in my opinion, are not truly reflective of what we're dealing with right now. Instead, I took a look at the numbers for the first 15 days of April. So first to 15th this year compared to first to 15th of last year. So single family home sales this year were down 51% in the first couple weeks of April. Townhomes down 33%. Condos down 56%, so massive decreases in the number of sales. And you know, we were off to a heck of a spring this year. Um, January was really good, February was really good, March numbers were strong. Um, obviously, COVID 19 is having a major effect on everything, including real estate numbers. But the interesting thing uh, to me was the number of listings coming on. So I look at, looked at the new listings coming on in that same time frame. Uh, single family home listings down 50%. Sing, uh, townhome listings down 37%. Condo listings down 63%. So the number of new listings coming to the market actually decreased more than the number of sales that happened. So supply and demand staying fairly in balance, which you know is going to determine pricing. That's the thing that everyone wants to know, is the bottom gonna fall out of the market? Are we gonna see huge uh, discounts on prices? Should I wait? Is, you know, what's, where are we gonna go from here? So next month's video, we'll take a look at the full month of April, see if this trend continued through the rest of the month or if there was any major changes. But the question I get asked all the time is, you know, where's it gonna go? And I, you know, my feeling on it, and it's hard to predict because we're still in the middle of this right now. We don't know the full scope of what we're dealing with. Even the chief economists for the major banks and different institutions, they can't agree on what's going to happen for the rest of the year. So uh, my feeling though, is it's gonna come down to two main criteria. The first is how long is this going to last? You know, if we, the province is talking about loosening up some of the measures in the next few weeks, assuming, you know, the numbers don't spike with the number of new cases. So if that happens and we start getting to some sort of normal function, some people get back to work in the next few weeks, I think we're gonna have a really great second half of the year. A lot of the uh, buyers and sellers that are just putting their plans on hold, you know, may look at buying in the summer or the fall. And I wouldn't be shocked to see at the end of 2020 that our numbers are fairly close to where they were in 2019. Flip side to that, of course, is if this drags on for six more months and a lot of the prospective buyers are out of work for six or eight months, they're probably gonna burn through their down payment savings. They could rack up their credit. They could do damage to their credit. You know, it's gonna depend, but they may end up 
needing some extra time to just rebuild themselves and they might still wanna buy, but just not be in a position to do so until next year, in which case we could see uh, some decreases on prices. Because the second factor is going to be when this is all said and done, how many sellers come to the market, how many buyers come to the market. If those, if those numbers remain fairly in balance, prices will hold stable, we'll have a good half of the year or whenever this um, uh, opens up again, things will remain fairly strong. But I think the longer this drags on, the um, likelihood that prices go down would go up. Because I think the sellers that still wanna sell will put their properties on the market when the dust settles here. We just don't know if that influx of supply is going to be met by the buyers. And again, that'll really kind of depend on how things all shake out here. So hopefully with any luck, we'll start to see some normal function return to our day-to-day -day living, a bunch of people back to work, get some businesses opened up uh, in the fairly near future here and we'll have a good second half of the year. But we really don't know exactly how that is going to unfold. So we'll keep a close eye on it uh, and let you know what we're seeing uh, in the real estate market. If you have any questions at all, uh, if you need any help, if you know anybody that needs some help, please reach out to us. We are absolutely here to help and we're all in this together. So hang in there, stay safe, and we will talk to you next month. Take care.